Hey, so they're not in the intro, and then let's get started with the intro. Ah, welcome to Overwatch, and welcome to another episode of Coaching the Many. Today, we're going to be talking all about Tracer. Tracer is honestly like an incredibly strong hero in the meta at the moment. Incredibly strong hero. There we go. Freedom. Thanks for getting me. Six months. Six months. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around and just like continually watching this stuff. Ignore my sub? What? Oh, Pike of Pain as well! Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, I missed it, Pike of Pain. I apologize so much. Thank you for joining us as well. Oh, God, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the, the sub train that seems to be happening. Okay, this is slightly annoying. Let's move this onto the side. There you are, Twitch, yeah. Uh, right, we're going to talk about Tracer. Tracer's huge in the meta at the moment because Diva got nerfed, and so Tracer's kind of... Tracer was already fucking top tier. If you looked at the top 100, it was usually like Tracer, 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 Tracer. Like Tracer's all over the place. Um, she's really good. She's a really strong hero. Really recommended. So, I advise picking up Tracer. Pretty good idea if you're looking to have a DPS that you can really climb with. I've been playing her a lot more on my second account, which is Bahamut. Uh, we managed to climb like a 100 SI yesterday with me mostly playing Tracer. That was pretty, and that didn't feel too difficult as well doing it. We had some near misses, some close scrapes. I actually kind of want to bring up the clip because it's a friggin' beaut of a clip. Uh, I think I can actually find it very quickly as well. If I go here and here. Like, just just the most beautiful friggin' Overwatch play that you have ever seen. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh. I have no concept of what's going on in this game anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> right, completely in control of the situation, right? Tracer, I fucking love the Twitch chat, <laughs> the luckiest son of a bitch ever. Oh, beautiful. Um, that, yeah, that was, that was a moment, uh, and I had a, a small crisis. But yeah, she's very, very good right now. So we're going to be looking at this, um, and holy shit. I can't wait, because tr there's a lot to coach about Tracer, right? There's a lot that you can do wrong on Tracer. She's honestly one of the highest skill cap heroes in the game, and while she's incredibly powerful, you have to do the right things at the right point. There's like, the margins for error on Tracer are completely slim. Um, so yeah, you're welcome for that clip. Yeah, thank you, Little Pink Bowser, for grabbing it. Good stuff, right. So first things first, we want to look at our team comp. And I want to mention the email that came alongside this um, submission, which basically said, you know, I, I felt like I was pushing the supports pretty heavily and I was constantly on the supports, but it didn't feel like I was having too much impact. Um, what, what was sort of going wrong? And we're going to see, like, there are points when we can make decisions about who we can attack and who we can get rid of first and fastest. And that's sort of the big thing I want to focus on. Um, making decisions and deciding who you're going to try and kill. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're going to get rid of this. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the events list as well. Where are you, events? We don't really need the events list. I don't like it. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, like I normally say, first things first, take a look at your team lineup. Try and figure out what your role is in the team. Like, it's even, especially when like leaving spawn like this, you should double check just what your team's going to be. So that's what we're doing. Good. Um, right. What does this team lineup tell us? So if we actually pause at the right moment, what does this team lineup tell us? Um, it tells us that our DPS is going to be shaky as fuck. Right. That's what I see first and foremost when looking at this. Uh, I'm not actually sure if this is post Mercy patch. I think this is actually before Mercy patch. Uh, this video. So the Mercy might be a little bit different than how you would expect. But the same logic will still usually apply. Mercy basically is a higher kill priority than she used to be now, at pretty much all times. Previously, you could like you could fight, and then she would just get the six. Like you could fight and try and stop her before she gets the six man res, which is great. And then her value would plummet after she's rezzed. You can sort of focus on other things if there's better targets. Um, now you've just got to really make sure you try and kill her, and be very careful about pulse bombing. Like pulse bombs should pretty much always be going on the mercy, or unless you've rezzed recently, then you pulse bomb something. But you've got to be very cognizant of that. But yeah, DPS sort of it's what scares me, right? And it, because we have a Hanzo, which always fucking scares me. Uh, and a tracer. What does this mean? It means our DPS is going to be relatively inconsistent. It means our ability to kill tanks revolves purely around pulse bomb and around scatter arrow. Otherwise, we're going to have a very hard time sort of getting through barriers and stuff like that. The bright side is we don't really need to get through barriers. Um, we do have a diva which will help kill the barriers at the very least. What's before patch yet? This is where basically every gold team. Spoiler, they might not be in gold if they stop picking Hanzo. Well, they might not be... Yeah, if they stop picking Hanzo, they'll probably leave gold. 
I, I, I'm going to harp on this. I'm going to keep harping on this. Picking Hanzo is consigning yourself to underperformance. No matter what, you are going to underperform. Yeah, nice little bit of blink dancing. Let's go to the opening. What quality is YouTube video? Nice and high quality. Uh, this is 1080p, I think. Yeah, 1080p, 60fps. This is a, this is a professional grade quality. I think this is 12k bitrate, by the looks of things, which is the highest that YouTube can go on. So it's a tasty HQ video. Does Hanzo kill everyone? No. So we spotted that they have a tracer. Engaging okay, a tracer duel. They get, well, they use recoil first. That's very good for us. That means we can play a bit aggressive. Their tracer just leaves for some reason. And then we get a good angle on the Lucia. And this is like, the one thing I would say here is just be very careful about like engaging a Lucia from this sort of range. This is something that I'm trying to get better at as well, which is sort of pacing yourself better. And when you start a fight, you've got to make a plan extremely quickly of what you're going to do. You spot, you pick up the health pack, fucking superb. Uh, so we're going in with full health, no worries. And then we are looking and it's like, okay, Lucio and Arisa, these are okay targets for us. Like the Arisa is a really good target for us because we can get through the barrier really easily. She's got a huge noggin, like Arisa's like, you know, this. And then she's got like her little centaur body and then she's got legs. Like, th this is what Arisa basically looks like to, to us. It's like she's just a fucking huge melon uh, that you can just explode. Right, that, that's, that's Arisa. Lucio is a bit trickier. Lucio is a lot trickier. And so with Lucio, you really want to get that opening salvo as powerful as possible. We get him almost killed, honestly. I would say blink up right behind him and just drill him in the back as best you can. That moment or two when poopy unicorn here can't react is your best window to get as much damage as possible. We do manage to force out the amp, which is nice for us. Then we end up in the, in the back line. I think there's a moment coming up. I fucking love this. So as Tracer, there's one rule which is pretty much universal, which is don't stand still. Never stand still. And when I, like, pretty much the moment I opened this video, I was just looking at it, I was like, how am I going to coast this one? How am I going to do this one? And then this happened, and it's like, instantly, yeah, I'm going to do this one. Because you can, I just, you just see the wheels turning in this player's head as he recalls, and then it's just like he stops. And takes a moment and goes, hmm, what's my next goal? Okay, there's there's the support. Okay, we're gonna kill that. It's just the fact that we stopped. Don't don't stop. Don't ever friggin' stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I was irritated and didn't know where I was. Okay. Just just be be very aware that if you stop, you have 150 hit points. Anyone can kill you. Anyone will be able to decimate you. This is terrifying, by the way. And also I'll just also mention for consistency uh, sake, when we come out of this. In this situation, so we recall and we look for targets. Lucio, moderately high prio, but difficult to finish off. You generally need someone else shooting at the Lucio to help you get it. You can do it, but it takes a lot of practice. Anna is much easier prey. Much easier prey. And the thing is, if you try and kill Lucio, Lucio can dodge and evade enough that the Anna can start supporting the Lucio and you'll never really kill her. Uh, never really kill him. With Anna, she's completely reliant on the grenade and then Lucio has to come help her. And even then, it's going to be tricky. In the amount of time Lucio just pisses off and does something else is is absurd, so... Uh, this is where we want to be a little bit nervous because they have a Junkrat in a small room and this is dangerous for us. This entire situation now is scary for us. We want to play it slow and carefully. You would be fine just drilling damage onto the Junkrat, honestly, in this moment. Do what we start doing. When the Junkrat turns, we back away. That's correct in my mind because if you try and go in there with new Junkrat, he will just explode you. Okay, there's a Winston. Junkrat's vulnerable. Blows up what we recall. Okay, we're fine. Now let's reassess. Tasty Orisa, and this is another point that I want to make. Which is how much damage do we do per clip? Um, like doing that single salvo and getting as much damage as possible out of it is very important. Watch how little damage this Orisa is going to take. Because armor completely screws Tracer up. Right? We do about 75 damage. About 75 damage. We would have to use five full magazines at this break. Um, with Arisas and Winstons, and we're going to notice this a lot, and I'd say, like, this is the first learning point. Like, even then, even up close, it's like we do 125 damage. We can do 200 damage. Like, I think a full Tracer Salvo, Body Shot It, does 250-ish damage. Um, we end up doing about 120, about 100 damage. About 100 damage with that next clip. What I really want to emphasize is... Headshotting tanks is super important. It's super, super important. You want to, especially when they got armor on, if you get that moment when they come up and they're on full hit points, 
try and make sure you are landing headshots on these first couple of salvos. You want to strip that armor away as fast as you can, because if you don't, you're going to have a hard time getting that finishing blow. And so, like, the fact that we're shooting center mass here isn't actually good when it's an Orisa, because she does have that great big noggin. And then when we start landing those headshots, it gets really easy. And the same applies to Winston. Um, try and get an angle on his head, try and just drill a load of headshots in him, because honestly, Winston dies ridiculously fast to Tracer if you land headshots. Like, a single salvo can deal, like, 400 damage on him. Um, it's, which is insanity. So again, standing still, and this is where I want to sort of re-emphasize that Lucio is a medium-tier target. And honestly, this guy's pulse bombable. This is sort of the problem with Lucio. Is that your team's winning the fight, so when I first watched this, my gun instinct was like, you know, eh, maybe you pulse bomb this guy. Like, right here, you try and get a bomb on him, but you'd already killed both tanks, like, this push is done, you don't really need the pulse bomb at this point. So you're fine just left-clicking him to death? And when he starts doing this shit, it's like, okay, this is where, you know, and you can see Hanzo flailing at him, but Hanzo's not going to hit anything. We stand still, which is a little bit annoying. You can hear that they have a Tracer. Well, they have one before, but you hear she's around. And then we start chasing this Lucio, like, for miles. This is where a Pulse Bomb would work perfectly fine, especially, like, here. And the trick with Pulse Bombs is you've got to remember Pulse Bombs are a projectile. So let's talk about Pulse Bombs for a second or two, um, which is this. So a Pulse Bomb... Tracer's guns, like this is Tracer. Um, give us a, let's let's draw like an Egyptian. Uh, her hair goes this way, doesn't it? And it's like this, like this, and like this. Like this is Tracer. He wears goggles. There we go. It's Tracer. Right, that's Tracer. Okay, and she's got her guns, and she goes pew 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 pew. Right, and the pew pew pew, the the pew pews that she does, the the hit scan. So they're instantaneous, which means that if you press the left mouse button. You know, um, and any target is in a line between you and your crosshair, it instantly hits the target. Pulse Bomb, however, is a projectile. Pulse Bomb gets lobbed and it has a travel rate and it, go and it goes at an angle. It doesn't fly that far. Its range is honestly about five meters. Tracer throws like a girl, basically. I know in her life she does like this cool fucking spin, and, like lobs it, and it looks really badass, but honestly, Tracer just kind of goes, eh, eh. Like she fucking just does this sort of motion. Um, and it, it doesn't go very far. But the cool thing about Pulse Bomb is that it is a projectile. It's a physical object. It's a tiny little ball that goes flying. Which means if you throw it in the path of someone and that someone runs into the pathway, they generally just pick it up. And that's the easiest way of getting onto the tracer. Or onto the, the stick, basically. You throw it into the path of the target. And this is where you'll see pros quite often like jump at something. And if they're not looking directly at it, centering it in the screen, um, they generally throw it in front of them. Because if they keep moving that direction, they're going to walk in and pick it up and then die. And so in an instance like this, where you can see that the Lucio, who's been bouncing this way, bouncing this way, bouncing across here, he's going to keep going this way. So if you throw the pulse bomb like here, he's probably going to bounce into it. Pretty much guaranteed he's going to bounce into it. Um, the other thing I'll say about pulse bombs is this. Don't be afraid of just lobbing them at shit. Do not hold on to them. Treat them like another aspect of your kit. And in this instance, by the way, this is why you see pros miss pulse bombs a lot. He jumps off and goes this way. Uh, so my pulse bomb would have missed. Now, even then, it might have still done some damage and it might still be okay. Tracer doesn't even try to throw it. She just swings her arm and lets it go slowly. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's... Pulse Bombs are a tool in your kit. You build them up so fast and so quickly, you do not need to hold on to them for a, a huge amount of time. And especially in a team with an Orisa and Winston, we can build them super fast. We don't need to hold on to them that long. We can actually really build them up. Uh, we completely, like... So, by the way, you could have just Pulse Bomb. Like, Pulse Bombing Orisa is a little bit trickier. Um, my advice, if you're going to go for this Orisa, and you could absolutely do this, you could just blink through here, put a bunch of headshots on her, she'll fortify, wait, 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 bomb, leave. Like, and that Orisa is done, gone from the fight instantaneously. You press one button, you force that one cooldown, and then you can just kill her. So we go towards the point, Reinhardt lands a doozy as an Earth Shadow, and we completely miss the Anna, the grandma on the floor. Somehow... We miss this. And this is where I sort of realized, like, this is the cool thing for me, is that I get to see a ton of different players at a ton of different levels. And you can see so far that, you know, we, we've looked at about three minutes, and honestly, like, only a couple of minutes have been actual gameplay. But there's been mistakes, right? There's been mistakes in the target focus. Um, there are moments when perhaps we, we could have been t uh, targeting easier prey and stuff like that. We stopped moving here. We could kill this Anna pretty easily before she even gets into this small room. 
We might back off a little bit too far here, for example, and then we can sort of go back in. Had a good opportunity to get a lot of damage on the Junkrat, which means that we could have been in a better position for the second clip to kill the Junkrat here. Very, very small errors. But this is the difference in my mind between a high level tracer, like a GM tracer, and a gold tracer, uh, a platinum tracer. Like these sorts of errors. Well, you know, we're basically landing most of our bullets on targets. I mean, our aim's probably not perfect, but, you know, we've got some big duty targets to shoot. Again, we could be headshotting a lot more, for example. These very, very small things, these very, very relatively small improvements where we could be headshotting more. We could be um, making slightly better decisions. You know, instead of spending 30 seconds chasing this Lucia around, we could have tried to finish him off um, in a more active way by using the Pulse Bomb or something like that. And then this mistake here, like, these sorts of mistakes would just... He sort of hides under the blue lip here, and we don't notice the, the big Russian name. Uh, apparently. And there we go. And so we end up, don't we don't kill this Anna. She gets sound barrier, she's alive. That's a lot more healing in this fight. Huge impact. Again. And I get, I'd say that we forsake some opportune targets to go hunting for this Junkrat. So I think we're fine blinking away from the fight. That's perfectly good behavior. You know that the Riptide's coming. Tracer cannot survive Riptide Welcome very well. Blink away from it. Hey, Rolner. Oh, that's very tasty as well. Pretty much the same rank that owns that. That the OAM account is on. Very nicely done. Good luck on getting into GM. It's difficult. But you notice that there was an Anna a couple of frames ago. Oh, YouTube. Come on. Don't load. Just go back. Just go back. Just go back, YouTube. No! I don't want to go back five seconds. Oh, for fuck's sake, YouTube. Uh, you can see the barrel of the gun. Like, if there's an Anna here, you could pulse bomb her. You could stick that. And then you can go and hunt this down. It's a bit unfortunate that this tracer arrives. Oh, it's... Oh, uh, no, we don't have a blink. And then we eat a bomb and we die. Feels bad, man. Well, that just happened! Right, go back to the fight as quickly as you can. Notice we've had this pulse bomb ages. We could have had a second one by now, easily. You can usually build about one a minute. Like, that's normal pleb level, is one a minute. Pros can do friggin' way more. Kinda disgusting. Winston goes down. Lucky for us, they have a Widow. That's unlucky for us. We get stuck on this. Good using the health pack. Again, like, I would be thinking, just use this Pulse Bomb. For the love of God, before I, I go insane. That Anna there is a beautiful target. Annas are actually really, really easy. Um, to Pulse Bomb, because they don't have any fancy movement techniques. Anna's and Zenyatta's are especially easy, and they're not going to do anything fancy when they move, basically. So, the only thing that Zenyatta's going to do is Trance, and honestly, Transcendence for Pulse Bomb is huge value. Um, like, it's enormous value. Okay, definitely Pulse Bomb that. Build up a second blink. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Special Agent Tracer. Would have preferred it on the Pulse Bomb itself. This Orisa was good. Um, basically, the second the stick happened, the Orisa should have just jumped. Um, oh, I wanted my I wanted my pet. She should have just jumped outside of a barrier, so it wouldn't hit the bongo. Um, pulse bombing the bongo there would actually be more value, I'd say. It sounds weird, but the, there's a good chance that Orisa survives it by using Fortify and then gets healed up by the Ana, um, which will heal her up super quickly. So it's actually quite hard to kill the Orisa with the bomb if you don't know for 100 percent certain that um, the Fortify is gone. Getting rid of the Pulse Bomb, which is a 50% damage increase on their entire team, is crucial. And as a Tracer, that is your job, basically. And again, trading... Like, Pulse Bomb is the ultimate economy advantage. If you trade Pulse Bomb for another ultimate, it's a win. It is a win. Nice Diva with a Clutch Bomb. This is old Diva as well. So no missiles to worry about. The missiles aren't too big of a problem. The thing with the missiles is you once you press the button to fire them, she fires all of them. Like, D.Va has no control. Um, she, she just releases all the missiles. That's terrible. Again, this Pulse Bomb... Pulse Bombing Winston's is actually huge value. The thing with Pulse Bombing Winston is you bomb him, and you just need a tiny bit of damage to finish him off. So if you get a bit of damage on him, put a bomb on him, and then get a bit more, you just kill him. Here, it's maybe not the best idea, but you could definitely have just gone for a bomb like on this corner here and try to get the Lucio. The thing with teams is this, especially on King's Row, if you think about how people move on King's Row, uh, they don't stay like there's. Let's draw it out so it's nice and clear. So, this is the statue. 
Okay, and we've got Mondata, and he's waving. And there's a the child here. There we go. Okay, and then you've got, like, the gate. Like, the, the wall here. Okay, and teams usually come from here, and they go through, and they go around the back of the statue, and then fight on the point. And, but the thing is, they move through here quickly. Like, the teams don't want to stay in this space, because this space has open sight lines to where people are defending usually on the point, so they, they move quickly. Which is really nice for us, because if people are running towards where you've thrown a pulse bomb, it works so good. So strong. And so, this will be a good instance of like, okay, we can see the Winston here. You could honestly just pulse bomb forward and drop, throw the bomb at the Anna, and then recall out would work just fine. Or in this instance where you see these guys coming in, blink forward, bomb, try and get it on the Lucio, try and get it on the floor by the edge of this pillar, and you'll probably get a kill. I do not be afraid of using them. Nice. Your Anna getting work done. And I'd even say, like, this Junkrat, you can bomb him. Like, the thing with bomb as well is it's very, um, very instantaneous. You just throw it, fire and forget. Very important sound. Actually, I think that's a May Wall. That might not have been the Ice Block. If it's not the Ice Block... Ugh, th that's why Junkrat is scary. Um, yeah, if, if you know that May is Ice Blocks, uh, just bomb her. Just get rid of her. Be extremely careful when blinking towards Junkrats. This is why you don't blink towards Junkrats. Especially now that he has a double bomb, it's just too easy for him to kill you. And Junkrats will commit both their uh, concussive minds to killing a tracer. That is absolutely worth it. Well. Okay, now you don't need to be scared of him. He's not going to do anything. Oh, no! Oh, bless. Oh, no. Um, let me go to that webcam. One second. I, I've got to do this. Let me make sure that I don't... Do anything silly. Okay, go here. Uh, I mean... It just... It could have been legendary. It could have won the game. Literally in overtime. Everyone is clumped. Everyone is clumped. And then... Ah... Oh, fuck. Right. No, the, the attempt was good. The attempt was, was perfect, but oh my god, that, that could not have ended up going worse. Okay, now you just gotta get on the point. Don't, don't C9 it. Okay, you've C9'd it. Right, in this instance, you would have been fine just jumping on the point and dying. That Winston even kills Hanzo. <laughs> Good job, Winston. I'm so proud. And like, this is the weird thing. You might think that, oh, well, surely surviving here as Trace is great. Look what your team is. There's four people over here. And the issue is this. If you try and do anything at the moment, their team is literally just going to nail you. Like, everyone's going to turn around and just kill you. Which is bad. Diva. The fact that that kills someone just hurts me inside. Don't don't encourage that. What May is trying to actively kill Winston as well. May is literally. Okay, two things. First things first. Don't do this when you're playing Diva. Even though this gets a kill, it's still not really worth it. You've just committed a very expensive ultimate. A free remake um, is gone. Very very bad. There's no value in that, aside from killing the Junkrat, who's going to be back in 10 seconds' time. Like, you've just committed an ultimate for a 10-second cool, uh, ten second restart. Second, if you're playing Mei and Winston jumps in, don't do this. This team, rem reminder, this team has an Anna healing. Okay? Anna is healing this Winston. Oh, wait, no, she isn't, because there's a fucking wall in the way. If your team had a real DPS instead of Hanzo, you'd be able to just kill him. Instead, your team has a Hanzo. So... Winston just gets away with murder, basically. Does eventually go down to the diva. Let's hit the finish. Recall. Let's try and find a better angle. Good. There's an Anna there. 
We seem to be distracted. That's today's newspaper. Oh no, let's see. What's, what's the main story? It looks like Trace has been, been in the news, apparently. Um, who knew? There's an Anna here that we should be killing. Can we give her time to react? We do somewhat greedily take that health pack. We could have left it for Anna. Um, she could have healed us. Be very careful about... Oh yeah, don't go out that way. That way's bad. That way is, is frustrating for us. Well, on the bright side, we know where the Anna is. Again, Anna is our primary target at the moment, I would say. There's a junk right behind us we want to be extremely careful about. Recall, just get away. We did not need to turn around for that blink. We could have just blinked backwards. We should definitely be thinking about pulse bombs at this point. Be very careful with that one, though. Okay, if you're going to pulse bomb a mate, you've got to make sure that she doesn't have her ice block. So don't just throw the bomb. Try and shoot her first and then get the ice block. Otherwise, she just blocks it. Zarya is a bit different. Um, Zarya, if she barriers to stop the pulse bomb, and if she's already on high charge, then you can just pulse bomb her anyway. She will barrier for it. It will destroy the barrier, and then you just kill the Zarya afterwards. Um, that's sort of the the rationale used. It's not ideal, but it works. Winston just jumped up and over. So here, we've got to make a decision at this point. And honestly, if you're going to make the right decision here, I'd say that you just have to get to the point. Just ignore this Winston. So, yep, ignore him. But don't turn this way. We, we seem to get a bit lost. We had to go as fast as we could forwards. And just try and contest the point. And we're just buying time. We're just going to stall. This Winston is all the way in the spawn. Yes, he is. And there's nothing anyone can really do about him except for the diva. No way, I'm sure Hanzo is going to deal with him. Enemy team is a real bitch for you at the moment because you cannot afford, afford to make any mistakes. This is a mistake. You're spending way, like, this is spending too long just shooting from a distance. So even if we get a lot of damage on the Anna, she has enough time to retreat really and get back and enough time for support to come in. There's just too much time for reaction to happen here. Um, you're not going to deal much damage at that range with Tracer. Like, you're okay doing an occasional salvo from range and then repositioning and move again, but doing two, like doing a second series of shots is a bit of an error. Oh, I'm sorry, no, not the hands up. We've got Widow. Even, even better. Clean enough, apparently. The more you can do right now, the better it will be for Widow. And then this is just unfortunate. Take some damage, take a conk mine, and down we go. Blink, blink, blink. Make sure you save the next blink as we come out here. Definitely stay on the Anna, stay on the Anna, stay on the Anna. Too timid, too timid. The worst thing you could do as Tracer is just stay in the same place. Because you notice that everyone's now reacted to you. So now she knows where... I'm on highlighter mode. Uh, give me pen mode. There we go. Uh, so you notice that the Faro knows where we are. The maid's going to be looking at us when we come out here. The Junkrat might even be looking at us when we come out here. Like, we have so many things just looking at us that we're not going to be able to get the finishing blow on this. Repositioning is Tracer, especially with a team lineup as high damage output as this one, is very, very important. We managed to recall, but we didn't really need to. You could have just blinked over, turned around, and killed the target. This is more fine because the fire is busy fighting other stuff, but we do need to go fight by the point. Like, again, I want to draw attention to just how little damage we just did. We did about 20. You could have just, like, you can just blink in on that and just kill it. It's a May. It's a May's a big lash. She's a chunky target. You'll be able to finish her off. She is, as the kids say, thick. A little bit of an antsy pulse bomb, but honestly, not the biggest loss in the world. Be very careful about leaving the point because this diva looks inclined to do so. So this is where you got to try and like read your team a little bit. I'd say in like this instance, when the diva gets the boosted, just hug the point a little bit. Don't go into this room and just stay around the back of the point. You're trying to buy time for more people to come back in. Just because the only thing on it at the moment is the Lucio and that could change any second. Now diva gets back on it. Now we're on it. We have to stay on it. Do not leave it. Uh, keep a cock. Is that, uh, chicken? I don't think it's, I don't think it's literally chicken penis. 
Penis is something else in Dutch. And, but cop is head. So, I don't know, it could literally be chicken penis. Which doesn't make sense, because chickens don't have penises. Anyway, um... Right, refocus on the game. I've managed to distract myself completely. Get on the point! Dormo Tracer, like... This is the unfortunate part of this game, is that you're gonna have to play for stall. So, like, even getting this far off, like... We are very lucky that something is contesting. We have to just get on the point and dance around it as best we can. C9, this is not a C9, technically. C9 is when nobody makes an effort. You guys were fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. The Tracer was just out of position. Which to Symmetra was Anna. At the last second, honestly, a Symmetra, if she gets to the point and builds up, can work. C9 would be if no one actually contested it. And they just kill their way through it. Oh, I love the fact that we have double sniper. Oh yeah, the email meant in double sniper. Well, they actively lead the point, yeah. And, like, they don't fight for it, they just leave. Mmm. Oh, the juicy double snipes. By the way, if you're curious, because we're silver damage, I reckon the D.Va is probably gold damage. Would not surprise me at all. Inslock hands a widow. Yep. The QP's tradition. So honestly, we're going to be looking to finish targets off that these guys hit, if they hit anything, and going from there. This is honestly good for us. Actually, it's not because we have a double sniper comp. If you had any semblance of a normal comp, this would be very easy. Should absolutely go bully this Winston. He used his jump. Bit of an overcommitment there. Actually, no, that's okay. Because you don't want to stand out in the open. I was going to berate you for double blinks, but I think that's okay. Definitely focus on this Winston. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go back and just demonstrate. This, this is the sort of very quick decision making you've got to go for. Because you only get a split second of it. There, you see? You see him just take uh, like a shitload of damage? You've got to put pressure on this and finish this off. Um, we're kind of lucky that the Hanzo does. And then after he's dead, you can recall. Definitely put some damage on these guys. Go finish. Okay, they've been healed. Just be careful. Nice pickup of the health pack. Good job. I understand that they're going to just pull back for you. So, yep. Yeah. Again, we need to be a bit faster in noticing this Anna. So you have a blind spot for, for old women. Right here. This is just an easy kill for you. Instead we sort of whiff it a little bit. Fine with us just finding a different angle. Be very careful though if you're going for the Junkrat, which it looks like you are. Who I think was on high ground. He might have dropped down now, thank god. Um... Don't you like the Junkrat spamming down here? If Junkrat stayed up here, be very careful going for this. This is actually suicidal in my mind. Because you're going to be stuck in a doorway and Junkrat's just going to spam through it and you're going to die. Um, there's pretty much nothing you will be able to do about that. You'll be better off just going to here and then blinking down and fighting. And because Junkrat's left, you can sort of pick and choose. Be very careful. Like, don't do stuff like this. You're not going to do any damage at this distance. So what you're doing right now is going, Hey, I'm Tracer. I'm back here. Hi. Hello. My name's Tracer. Come come kill me, everyone. We're lucky that Lucio sort of takes the bait, but now all four of them are peeled off. Let's get away. Good. Okay, now we can definitely pick our targets. Look for whatever's at the back. Again, primary target, and again, we're doing it again, where we're just like going, Hi, my name's Tracer, I'm not actually doing any damage, but I'm just making a big noise. Hi! Hiya! Um, like, all of this is just meaningless at the moment. We're sort of being a little bit distracting, but like, this is a kill target. This is a pulse bomb. Okay. Um, slow motion, please.
Okay. So, one blink was enough. Because we want the Anna and the Lucio. They're pulling back, they're not paying any attention to us. Chances are they're going to keep coming back this way. That's what they're going to do. You throw a pulse bomb where Anna is now, you're going to hit one of these two. Instead, we blink forward again, but... Okay, this is where I got confused as hell, I think. Because we throw the bomb before we blink. So the bomb is already thrown, like, at this moment. If we go... Back here, oh my god. So, like, the bomb has been thrown here. Which, luckily, we did. Because if we threw it here, it would get eaten by Defense Matrix, because we would have thrown it in front of D.Va. It hits the D.Va in the back. Okay, fair enough. D.Va jumps at Anna. We recall for safety. It's fine with that recall. And then we managed to kill the Anna. In, like, the most circuitous way humanly imaginable. Wasting a blink for no reason and having to use our recall, but we do it. What would have worked better in this instance, am I on high speed? No, I'm just on normal. Is if we blink forward, throw the bomb, and then just blink back. Instead we do it in... Th the, the results worked out. We get the Diva Mech, we get the Anna. Good. But we don't get too much else. You don't have to peel this far back from a Winston, by the way. When there's, like, a narrow space like this, you're safe here. He might just be able to jump, but he'll probably land about here, and you can just blink away if he does that, and he's not going to fight on the team. I saw this happen on top-tier players. You can start throwing the bomb, blink, and it's a faster bomb throw for the enemies to react to. That might be true in terms of, like, you press Q and blink forward at pretty much the same time, and therefore you are basically appear and throwing the bomb instantly, but the bomb was definitely thrown before we blinked the second time. The bomb was a physical projectile in the game at that moment. That was an enemy Lucio, by the way, that was cuddling to us. Just, just worth shooting him. Remember, we, we do have a fire now, so we actually have some damage. Actually, we had the fire before, I think. Um, but there is a Hanzo, there's a Platinum Hanzo, and I think a Silver Widowmaker on the, involved, so... Who knows? Who the hell knows? Okay, spot out the Lucio. Just keep a little bit of pressure on him, it's fine. Like, in these instances, don't feel too pressured to go for the kill on the Lucio. Just the fact that you're going to force him to use Amp is actually enough. And so we're fine just doing some damage, stripping the armor off the Winston. You can go pick up a health pack. Good. We're using health packs nicely. Like, that's one thing we're doing quite nice, quite well. This is sort of more what we want to be doing. Cooldowns are gone. Be very careful when recalling. So you hear the bomb go off, the diva bomb. Be very careful when recalling around diva bombs because you can't. Like it's very hard to be 100% sure of where the diva bomb is and when your blink, when your relocation is, or where your recall ends. So it's very easy to end up when you recall to end up in front of the bomb. Just make sure that you're timing it so that you're either safe from it. For fuck's sake, uh, this shouldn't happen. At least this one was in a fight technically. Um, but yeah, just be a little bit careful about that. Hanzo throws out an ult, but... This is what I would call survival mode. Don't... Like... You can probably kill this May, but just be very careful, because the worst thing you could do now is live for about 5 seconds and then die. If you just die instantaneously, it's not too big of a problem, because you'll be back with your team around the same time anyway, because Tracer moves so quickly, it doesn't really matter if you die a little bit disjointed from your team. But... Now. Um, just be very careful about actually dying here. So I'm glad to see that we're actually playing it a little bit safe. You could definitely pulse bomb that May block, by the way. Okay, don't do it now. There's a D.Va. We have the best luck with these bombs. Holy shit. So what should instantly tip you off not to do this is the fact that D.Va has Defense Matrix up. But just the fact that there's a D.Va there, like... You know, qu question, if you've ever played D.Va in your life, Tracer blinks towards a Mei who is stuck in an ice block and hasn't ulted in a while, what is Tracer going to do? She's going to ult. It's telegraphed as fuck, so you can sort of interpret, okay, this D.Va knows I'm going to be looking for a, a pulse bomb here. 
and we throw it, and it just about hits. That was a miracle, and then Widow fucking nails May. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let's see that again. Oh! Impeccable. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Anzo's popping off as well. Jesus. Okay. As Tracer, you are now free to push forward. I don't recommend going this way. What I recommend is actually going this way. Like in the U shape. So King's Row is shaped like this. So it's basically like um, you start here. Like this is the choke. Okay. You go here. You go around the bookstore. You go around here. And then you go around here. And then you go around here. And you go to the foundry. Right. This is like the main pathway that the payload is going to take. There are alternate pathways. Uh, so around here, there's a pathway that connects into a pub, which is here. To a building here. You have this pathway. You have like the pathway that goes around here as well. Okay. And then you've got like the underground as well, technically, that no one ever friggin' uses that connects up here. This drawing's gonna be messy as fuck, but these are the basic pathways. And then you have like the pathway that goes around here and then around here. There's technically a couple of others as well, but these are like the main ones that we're gonna be thinking about as Tracer. This part, so the problem with going through this way, um, the direction that we end up going through the pub, so we end up like going into the pub, um, you know, fair enough. Uh, we end up going like, I'm not sure where we're going to end up going, but just be careful about doing this, uh, is that we can, the areas where we're going to end up is like out here. Uh, and if the enemy team comes out, they're going to be looking straight at us. Whereas if you are in the opposite direction, oh, and you go through this way, you're going to be out in an area where the enemy team, they're not they're going to come out and they're not going to be looking at you. So then you can generally pick and choose. You can see the tanks running forward. So here, if they turn this corner, they'll see us. They will know exactly where we are. And that's not good for us, actually. We want to try and make it difficult for them to know where we're going to be. Here, we're just running straight into the enemy team's front. We have to instantly blink away. This is a free Diva Mac, okay. My advice is pretty simple at this point. Our shadow goes off, finish off the Diva Mac, look to your, look to your right. If you don't look to your right instantly, I'm going to call it as wrong. Yeah. The reason why I say look to your right instantly is because... Let's go through this entire thing. So it's pretty obvious, like, the Diva Mac is highest priority, because it's on, like, 50 hit points. We just help clean it up. That's good. That's good value. The reason why I say look to your right is there could be an Anna, there could be a Mercy, there could be a Lucio, there could be something there that is going to just, you know, support something more valuable than the Winston. So your choice is, at the moment, you can kill Winston, or you can kill question mark, question mark, question mark, because we haven't checked. And I don't think we had enough time to sort of glance to see what's coming. And now, turns out there's nothing, but just that split second, like, oh, there's nothing, would be worth doing. Because the amount of times, the worst thing that could happen in this instance is sort of what happened earlier with the Anna, where we just didn't see the Anna. And then the sound barrier goes off, and then the Anna survives, and then puts more healing in the fight, and then could nano boost a Winston, for example. And nano boost a Winston will tear this team into fucking pieces. So it's like all these like, sort of little things can compound very quickly. So, you've got to check for that kind of stuff. Winston. You should blink here. When Winston lands, it does 50 damage. Right, let's slow it down. Let's, let's double check that. Be 100% certain. Chunked. Ninety-eight. It does 50 damage at the epicenter, it might have slight drop-off from the radius. You can see 98 to 61. That's a pretty big chunk. That's, that's a pretty big chunk on a tracer. We suddenly go from, I'm, ki I'm okay to fight this Winston for a little while, to, oh shit, we got a recall. Could have done it with a blink. Do not let Winston land on you, when possible. So, okay, we can pick up health back there. Their Reinhardt's just overcommitted. So, this is where ears hearing is super valuable. So, Winston goes in. Winston dies. Great. We start flanking. We spot the Reinhardt because we catch a fire strike to our face. Feels bad, man. 
Then we listen. That's the sound of a Reinhardt charging to his death. So what I would look, what I would look to do is like turn to the left and peek. So turn and just look out here just to see what's going on here. Uh, Lucio is pretty good target for us, and if we can't finish the Lucio, then we're probably looking to finish the Reinhardt. But again, this is a moment where we could just peek, get some, get a little bit of information. You can keep walking forward and look to your left at the same time. You just hold W and D at the same time. And you see, oh look, there's the Reinhardt that committed suicide. Uh, unfortunately your Reinhardt also committed suicide. Whoa! Okay. Almost flood the bomb. So again, watch where people are moving. And throw it in the path. Let's let's do this one slowly. Oh my god. Oh, 1440p. What the fuck? No wonder this is so crisp. This is actually this is higher than 12k bit right then. This that's why it looks so smooth. So what we can do is we can just focus on this. Blink blink. We turn. And so I'd say you're okay in pulse bombing this. Like even though Reinhardt died, killing these two, killing two here, you're probably gonna kill two with a pulse bomb. Uh, it's probably going to be these two, not the Lucio. Let's swap to pink. Probably going to be these two. Uh, the Lucio, if he's smart, will be backing away from these guys. Because this is pulse bomb behavior, right? Like These guys, these three people should be going, oh god, Tracer's going to bomb us. Zenyatta's miss missed you, and he's pulling back. Zenyatta is only going to go backwards. Like, he, there's no way this Zenyatta is going to go this way. Because if he does, he's going to die. If he goes this way, he's going to die. So he's only going to come back here. Like safety as well, and like how people react and psycholo uh, psychology thing, is they're going to move to where they think the safest, which at the moment is going to be like over here. Because the wall's going to protect him from other stuff. So if we just throw a pulse bomb and we aim it like here, like pretty much on him, he's probably going to move back towards us. And if he doesn't and it lands like on the floor here, it's still probably going to kill these two because these two have to pull back to get to safety. So no matter what happens, they're in a bad situation. Instead, we sort of hold on to it. This would be an even better moment at this point. I'd say like you better off pulse bombing over this way. As you can see, like I said, moves towards the wall. You throw it out. The Zen for some reason goes back towards this and just sits on top of the pulse bomb. It hits the floor. Hitting the floor with it is confusing for people. There's actually an argument to be had for you just blinking so when we do the blink into the middle of them, if you blinked actually more to just get like right here and just looked at the floor and pulse on the floor, you could actually get very good results from that as well. Um, that will be worth keeping in mind. Just something in the future. Just because when it's on the floor, it confuses people because like you just see, you see the exclamation mark like circle around you and that's very confusing to figure out exactly where it is. Um, it's, it's more confusing than when someone is stuck because usually what they do is they just stand still. GTX 1050 Ti. 1050 Ti? I didn't know they made 1050 Ti's. But yeah, that's why... I'm not sure how smooth it looks for you guys. It probably looks pretty good still. Because this video, I think, is then on 15k bitrate, which is what I record my videos natively at. And then it's being broadcast at 6k to you. So there is downscale. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I've been, I'm so focused on the... On fucking YouTube, that uh, that's fine. You could have blinked. Actually, you know, you couldn't have blinked out there. Yeah, I'm fine with this playing it safe. You don't have recall, so fair enough. This Winston's committing suicide. This Lucio is absolutely your kill target. Winston actually retreated. Okay, fair enough. Look for an angle again. We shoot, we shoot the wrong Widowmaker. They're just they're lining up to to die, which is good. Just tap the Lucio. Yep, good, good, good. To just tapping the Lucio Aurea was, was important hey, for some health. Hey, Clive Warren, welcome back then. Good to have you back. The juicy two months. No longer scrub hype. Just hype hype. This is a nice part about infrasight. Oh, ho, 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 yes. I'm presenting one of the most satisfying things in Overwatch. Oh, that damage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. fucking good, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Can absolutely go aggressive on this Widow. The weird thing is, you would actually be fine blinking forward here. Because this Reinhardt is, is forced to ignore you. Um, this Reinhardt has two options at the moment. He can either take a swing at you and slow down. Or he can just make his way towards the point. 
If you try to take him and like, I would say you'll be fine just blinking straight forward. Because this guy's probably going to go past you, and if he does try and take a swing, you just blink again and finish off the Widow. The worst thing that could happen is if the Widow is allowed to just set up and start shooting. That's a problem. Because you notice this guy doesn't really want to shoot at us. We're sort of forcing him to. He wants to be shooting at what's on the point at the moment. No! <laughs> And, and then try not to fall, fall off the map. Um, but it's weird, even though we flub the kill, like, you know, we, we can be turning better here, son. We can be turning us like a little bit better and just... Racking needs improving, this needs working on. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, then we get confused and we get a bit lost. But during all of this, the Farah that this guy should be killing, kills his entire team. Widowmaker kills the Anna. He walks into a possible and dies, and then we fall off the map and win. Literally fucking beautiful, right? There's still a lot of this VOD to go. Uh, I do want to look at this, and take a look at this in the slow-mo, just to see how... How did this go so wrong? Who to play with you in Joker Town? I was the Anna that got to play the game. I'm sorry, I'm blanking. You think I would remember an Anna play of the game? Maybe I didn't stay to see the play of the game. But if you did, I hope I was amiable. Sometimes I get a bit salty. Um, but never in, never actually in chat, so... Like, we do fine until about this point, when we're just a little bit slow on the tracking, and then he jumps and that confuses us. A bit of over-aim. Blink and reload. We turn 180 the wrong way. We turn 180 again, but he's just walking around us, and he's sort of, he's running around us at the same speed that we're turning, or just slightly slower, so we're not quite catching him. Okay. So what I would say is, like, the first mistake... So once he's pinned against this wall, his movement options are limited, right? And we've actually body blocked him. So he, Soldier 76 at this moment only has two options to move. He can move this way, and he can move this way. Because he can't move towards us, because silly. we physically exist, so we're I'm blocking. Hey! Here. Way more on, and you still rock. On you. I'll send you my gameplay once you on a time. Once you on a time. Once upon a time. Uh, send it. Just record it, send it in. Uh, I always need more. Always need more. Uh, too much gameplay is a much better problem than too little. So send it in if you can record it. Otherwise, uh, so yeah, he can't move towards us because we're body blocking him. He can only move on, like, these axes, right? So we know where he's gonna be. So, play. And so we end up shooting into the wall a little bit. Falls into a reload, so we blink. And then we turn the wrong way. He's up against the wall, we should be turning to the left, not the right. Because he's just kept on moving. And then we're just, we're sort of firing while turning, and all of these bullets... Like, watch how many of them go into the wall. A little bit flustered. You could also, me like, you could have just been meleeing at that moment as well. That would have worked a lot better, I think. This melee has a really wide arc. We whiff a blink, but we take the rocket, so we have to recall, fair enough. Then we're even more confused. And, oh, look, there he is. Just. And then we're sort of, we're back towards shooting, but then this is just tracking. Then we say, fuck it, and throw a pulse bomb. <laughs> and then he dies. Ah, oh, feels bad, man. That was at 25% speed, so, like, when you watch it at normal speed, it doesn't look nearly that bad. 21 player kill streak, it's pretty fucking good, actually. It means we, we die. Not at all. That wasn't a rocket. No, oh, that damage came out pretty quickly. Oh. Alright. So, you have a three minute attack potentially, or one minute defense. You have a Roadhog instead of having a friggin' Hanzo. Miracles. Wow. What is she doing here? Just zoned out. Welcome to Overwatch, Zone, we, we broke Widowmaker. Hey, Scrimgrin! was my main, but his speed is a pain. Mercy 2 is my new waifu. Waifu. Ah, uh, it just, it doesn't work. It's a waifu. Feels bad, man. Thank you, Scrimgrin, by the way, for eight months. Jesus, so many long serves. Oh, that always hurts. 
be careful about poking your nose out there. Is that like don't do this? Because you're just giving opportunities for these guys to spot you. Like just hold on for a second or two and then go out and do stuff. Ooh, we don't want this fight. Be very fucking careful. Recall. Good. Okay, now you now you want that fight. Oh, that's nice of Widow. Okay, she's gone back in. Better things to do. Oh, the fact that you're using blinds, be careful. Again, this is just a case of relax. We, we need you to relax more there. So... The big thing at this moment is, at least with my own psychology, I can only really speak from my own experience, but this is like... Shooting here isn't the worst, it's not the best, but... I'd rather just, I'd just focus on blinking in first. And then in this moment, just relax. Just... You, there's a Zenyada. You're behind him, he's not paying any attention to us, has no Discord orb on us. Relax. You have this kill, this is easy, you can do this. Because this feels like we sort of panic a little bit, and we end up still shooting it a little bit everywhere. It's like, oh my god, there's a Zenyada, I've got to kill it, I've got to kill it, I've got to kill it, oh my god, oh my god. Just relax, don't panic. You got that. Like, there's time to be super twitchy, there's time to be super like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was an instance where it's like, I got this. This, this is mine. Doofus goes too deep into a Roadhog. You don't want to go too deep into a Roadhog. Focus the Zen. This would be another instance where Pulse Bomb is fine. We could have done a slightly better Pulse Bomb. Just like, get, use the second blink, get into them. Again, because it's over time, you know that he's going to come inwards. I'm on highlighter mode again, apparently. You know he's going to come inwards, so don't be afraid to just blink up here and put a Pulse Bomb here. Force him either to stay off the point or to just get on it and die. It's a little bit unfortunate. Hope hey, happens. That Widowmaker is not a problem. Focus on that Lucio. Lucio, Lucio, Lucio. Come on. Don't like this positioning because this is putting in line of sight of the Widow. So this is all target priority going wrong. A target priority and positioning and aggression going wrong. I'm not lying, the Widowmaker is not helping at the moment by just spamming pretend, uh, defend the objective. So. So we put, actually even before this moment I'd say. No, this moment onwards, okay. Come on, we spot that Zenyatta's dead. Okay, that's half the spotting gone. We get some good damage onto the Junkrat. Then you're looking here. Okay, Widowmaker is up here. So we know that where the Widow is, we know where that threat is going to be. There's just Lucio on the point. 60 hit points. You have to do 60 hit points of damage. You pick up the health pack, okay, 75 hit points. Now is not the time to shoot the Doomfist. Now is really not the time to shoot the Doomfist. Now is the, like, you are the one to finish this Lucio off. No one else is really going to be able to do that. Because by not shooting the Lucio, he's just providing healing to and out everything on the point. And support to everything on the point. And if you just, you know, if I lay it out, it sounds super obvious, right? What's easier to kill? Lucio, then Doomfist, or then Doomfist, and then Lucio? Like, what's going to be faster to kill? So, the Doomfist, if you try and go for Doomfist, then Lucio. Lucio's going to heal Doomfist. Doomfist is going to be evading, and so he's just going to keep him alive longer. If you go for the Lucio, Lucio's healing himself, sure, but if you get rid of him first, then you just have a Doomfist to worry about. And Doomfist doesn't change based on whether there's two people or one person there. I didn't see the Widow. I always see the Widow. My statue's on its way. It's going to arrive in two days. I can't wait. Cannot wait. If I had a decent camera, I'd go for an unboxing video, but I don't. That and, like, my life is a mess. There's a Venom Mine behind us. Please don't walk into the Venom Mine. Thank you. Just to prove that I'm not crazy. Uh, if we go from here. We peek. Oh look, there it is. Very important to spot these actually as Tracer, because they deal 75 damage and we have 150 health. So we really want to keep our eyes open. Some good damage on the rat. This sound, it's going to sound like weird advice, but don't blink backwards here. You would actually be better blinking right now while you're in the air and going this way. 
Because if you think about where he's firing, he's firing out here into this choke. Like his grenades are going to land anywhere in like this area, right? So if you blink backwards, there's a chance that the bomb will just bounce and hit you. But well, if you blink forwards here and go slightly to the right, like not straight at him. If you blink straight at him, he's going to kunk mine and kill you. Um, but going slightly to the side here is actually going to result in good times. Because then it puts you in a big open space where you can fight him just dealing the 100 damage you need to deal isn't that hard. Now the problem with blinking back here is that we now still have to go through this choke point, but the grenades are bouncing through it, so we're going to have a hard time. Far as annoying everyone, yes. As far as the kind of person that annoys the shit out of me, because they're the sort of person that goes, Guys, just fight on top of the payload! Oh my god, guys, why aren't you just fighting on top of the payload? It's in overtime, why haven't we won yet? And it's because everyone's just going one-on-one -on -one and then fighting on top of the payload and dying. I like the, the stun disbelief. These are- this is a lot of blinking for not a lot of purpose. The important thing to realize at this precise moment, however, you see, th this is the kind of person that just annoys the shit out of me. Where, okay, in these instances, in these instances where the enemy team is pushing a payload and you are trying to stop them, the worst thing you can do is just continually try and contest. Like, one, on one at a time, just go and contest it because the respawn timers for your team increases on the defense, so it takes longer and longer and longer for people to come back. I believe that's how it works. Um... And so what you've got to do is you've got to try and get together and then just win a single team fight. If you try and do this one, one by one by one shit, and they have a bunch of people, they're going to charge you at the alts and win. That said, the big thing to realize at this moment is that there is just I a Lucio here. Things. And like, you Lucio. almost win at this moment. Hey, Dribs! I think they want to stop the payload. Yeah, okay. I, th I think they do as well. So you just have to kill this Lucio. Don't ever do this. Don't ever be a cocky little shit and think that you've just done it. Like, you had to deal 50 damage. If you kill that Lucio, you would have been in a really good place. And then all this blinking is just not necessary. You have a Lucio here. You take some damage. You take some damage. You can honestly just blink back once, then turn around and heal up with the Lucio. Or you can even recall. By using all of our blinks to get away from here. We now went from a fight where it was three versus one, three people fighting a Lucio, to now they've reinforced, they've got Sound Barrier out, and now it's like a two on two, or for, well, two on three for their team, where they have Sound Barrier out, they have a Doomfist there, and they have a Junkrat. I think the Doomfist got exploded, but the Junkrat's now back. The Anna's now back. Now their reinforcements are coming in more and more and more. The Diva Bomb is gold, and that's that. And now this guy is just whining. This kind of person, I loathe. Okay, they have a Symmetra. High priority for us. For fuck's sake, Farah. Oh, oh, God. Tilting. Okay, like clear, like clear these three and then go forward. So the important thing to note is that there's five turrets here, so that means there's going to be very few turrets being put up at the moment. Spam the door, get someone. Okay, just take your time. He has six rockets. And now he's shouting at... <clears throat> this is the person that died, right? Miley dies, and dies to a Junkrat trap and far and Symmetra turrets on the door, and then shouts, "OMG, noob!" My is <laughs> Who are these people? Right. Okay, this is a team that you can beat with a single pulse bomb. Your priority, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to build a goddamn pulse bomb. Do not worry about getting kills. You can kill the turret, that's amazing. Try and evade this Winston, just finish that turret off, good. Going for a... no, 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 no. Okay. So, when the turret's this low, like... Our priority is just to finish it off, so you could have done that from up here, probably. Just shoot from up here. If you do jump down here, 
Turning right, blinking right, and picking up the health back in the hotel is much safer. By just blinking forward like this on 70 hit points, you are asking to die. Miley is clearly a GM player, second got clearly. Miley has left the game. Wait, we... St stop it. Stop, stop typing. Okay. What are we doing? We, we... We don't need to, to react to this. There's a Winston that just, like, committed suicide behind you. I want to point out, he used his bubble. We There's a Winston somewhere. He might have just jumped out, actually. We don't need to stop. We're on 149 hit points. Okay, now this is this is trouble. This is scary. Run that's charged in. <laughs> it's got the turret as well, apparently. Juicy damage on that Torbjorn. Nice, good job. Just keep, just keep dealing that damage. Get that bomb. That's all you want. You want that bomb. Get that bomb. The entire team is constantly just standing on one location. Don't go this way. There's nothing good this way. There's just a barrier and a turret this way. Don't go this way. Ah, look, you got a flank. Ooh, hello. Get away from that sim. You can't fight her in that space, so don't try. Again, you are fine just building a pulse bomb here. You, you need 14%. Just go build the pulse bomb, throw a pulse bomb on the telly. This is, this is doing this the slowest possible way. Honestly, just kill the turret and then just... There you go. Now now get closer. Well then, okay. Feels That feels pretty good, man. Oh, look, this guy's back. You can go forward, by the way. No, he's back. <laughs> what? What? Anna, okay. Question mark. Honestly, you. Oh fuck! 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 I'm lucky that that was just two turrets. Holy shit! Three turrets, and we would have probably died there. Good. I like the fact that we're just finding these angles. Like this is all we should be doing. Because you see how effective this shit is. You could just blink through here, by the way, and just. Clear this out quicker. Kill the bongo. Kill Arisa. Good. It just it flows now. It's nice and easy. <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate. Shoot him. Everyone just shoots him. He does die. Get still not sure about this path. There we go. Good. 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 See how quickly he dies if everyone just shoots him? It's insane. This is good pressure though. This is really good for your team. Honestly, just focus on killing the diva at this point. Just finish this all off. Nothing else is going to be coming and then you should win. And this guy spams GG easy. It's just like, this is why I get so annoyed when people just tilt and throw the game away. And it's just like... Don't... Don't! You won! Reported for leaving, he DC'd and came back. I'm gonna put that down to him just getting a disconnect, rather than just leaving. Ah, oh, right. So, biggest things, uh, finding better angles, finding better approaches. Um, getting in a bit closer with our left clicks. Tracking is something we should be working on regardless. Use our pulse bombs more. Please use our pulse bombs more. Don't stop moving. Don't stop believing either, uh, but don't stop moving for anything. Like Tracer standing still is just gonna die. And target priority, like don't overfocus Lucio's. Lucio's are slippy, they're difficult. Um, build off Aritas, build off Winston's, throw pulse bombs aggressively. You'll be doing a lot better. Killing Anna and Zenyatta is super high prior. Killing Mercy with the new patch is also super super high prior now. Just understand that Mercy is always gonna be a little bit tricky. Because what's going to happen is you're going to appear, shoot Mercy, and then she's going to Guardian Angel somewhere. You're going to have to follow her, and then try and get the kill. So what you've got to do to kill Mercy is, is make sure that opening Salvo, before she Guardian Angel's away, is going to get her down to about 70 hit points. When you get that down smoothly, then following her and killing her is a lot easier. 
Uh, right. Otherwise, now is the time to start asking questions. I'll take questions from the chat, and then I'll see you in part number two. So, see you soon. So, so something in chat. Uh, I'm new to Twitch just for your content. Consider all your YouTube stuff and need more. Also, I once heard that Tracer's Bomb do more damage when they don't stick, which makes no sense to me, unless they do less splash damage when stuck. Also, her Junkrat Tire does more when it's on the ground. Any of these true? The Junkrat Tire, I think, is true. I think it is to do with the splash. Um, the Tracer Bomb, I'm not 100% sure. Well, I do know with the Tracer Bomb, and like, actually, I'll, I'll follow this question up. I'll do the second part of this on the question section, because that's actually a really good point to make. So let me, oop, oop, oop. Nothing, nothing lewd. No, good. Good. I'm in the clear. Um, let me load up Overwatch. Let me load up the O-dubs. Uh, Blizzard 